Hi everyone! In this episode of Fast-Paced Tutorials, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your application directly from GitHub to your app services using continuous delivery. I have an app services called Fast-Paced Tutorials. If I go to that app service and then go to Deployment Center, you will see that under Continuous Deployment, I have Azure repos, GitHub, Bitbucket, or Local Git. I'm going to choose GitHub. So the first thing you have to do here is to authorize Microsoft Azure to access your GitHub account. Now, as you can see, my account is already um, linked to my Microsoft Azure and my app service. But if you click on GitHub, then right now I have change account, but you will have authorize here. Both do the same thing. If I click on change account, it will open up a window like this, and then it will ask you, it is actually GitHub, asking you to sign in to your account and then authorizing Microsoft Azure to access your account. So it is done now. I can click and continue. You have three options here. I'm going to use GitHub Actions. All, all three do the same thing, but I'm, I'm more comfortable with GitHub Actions. Now here, I have to select my, my organization, I have to select my repository, I have only one, and then branch. Again, I have only one branch called master. Then uh, you have to define some other um, configurations like runtime stack and version, which is .dotted core, .dotted core 3.0 in my case, and then continue, and then you can just review the GitHub action workflow configuration that it's going to create on GitHub for you and then just click on finish. So now you can see that uh, my application is deployed to my app service and it happened automatically. If I click on browse, it will open the app service for me. Again, it's a web API. I don't have um, a page to show, but I do have, a, have, an, en uh, uh, have an endpoint, which is called test. And it is returning a simple string, test one. Here it is. Now, if I make a change here, make it two, and then push my changes to my repository on GitHub, made a simple change. This is my comment. And then commit and sync. Then what happens is that it will automatically, uh, GitHub action will automatically build my application and it will push my changes to Microsoft Azure App Service. If I go to actions here, you'll see that because of that commit, it is now running my action. If I go inside of this action, you will be able to see the details of or steps of uh, my action and um, the jobs or tasks that GitHub is performing to build my application and deploy or push my changes to my Azure app services. Now that you can see it's completed, if I go to my app service, you will see that it actually uh, added a new successful deployment to the list here. And if I again click on Broad and go to my app service, and check the same URL, which was test. You'll see that this time I'm getting test number two. It is called continuous deployment because as soon as you make a change to your branch, it will automatically get pushed to your app service. So it happens automatically and continuously with all the changes you push to your repository. And that's why it's called continuous delivery.